Another episode of the Realest Podcast, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end, you're gonna have a little update about the Britney Grinder video. Um, when I'm gonna drop my album off the wall, the whole nine, man. You feel me? But um, uh, I just want to talk about a lot of stuff I couldn't really talk about in the interview that I did with my boy Treyway, man. You know what I'm saying? And he going up, shout out to him, man. He doing the vlog thing, you know, thing going up for real, for real. But um, I ain't really get, get into depth, uh, because we really on like a time limit, man. We both had a lot of shit on our schedule, but I ain't really get into depth um, of what drove draw me into wanting to do music constantly, man, and, and really have a passion for it. Um, it's because, I don't know, I, I would, it was just always with me, bro. You feel me? Like, it was like embedded into my life. Like, like I said, I was in the chorus, the orchestra, and the band, you feel me? So I always loved music and loved to do it and had no problem doing it, man, you feel me? I just grew up and started liking to do it other kind of ways, you feel me? And started um, expressing music, that, and that's rapping, you know what I'm saying? That's like a form of art, poetry, you feel me? So that's TV in the background. My son, you know, he having a ball. But um, what really made me take it serious, man, excuse me, Jeff Burke, but... Um, what really made me want to go hard with it, like, I got said, I come from Southwest Atlanta, man. Like, half the shit y'all seen on TV, I did half of this shit, you feel me? Like, just crazy stuff, but it was to survive, you feel me? Like, but I, any, any time, like, before I used to go out there and go dough locking the shit and go crazy, bro, and taking shit, bro, um, I used to pray, you feel me? Because I knew what I was doing. Um, wasn't the right thing to do, you feel me? I mean, y'all see me hugging up through that, you feel me? Ooh, look at him. I was going through that, but um, I knew what what I was doing went right, bro. You feel me? So I used to pray, man, and talk to the big God, man. You know, and ask for forgiveness, man, and ask Him to cover me and um, whatever I'm doing to the best of my ability, man. You feel me? But I always used to um, acknowledge God, and every time I made a move, man, you feel me? And that that's what I think that's important, man. But every time, like I said, I used to be putting my life on line, man, going out there doing that dumb ass shit, bro. And, Going out there, like, in different areas of, of, the, of, of the city, man, and, and taking shit. I, like, them folk could have caught me taking that shit and took my life. But I was fortunate enough to always get away with a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I always realized, like, man, this ain't the way I want to keep going, you feel me? So I tried the job thing. When I got my first job, bro, this shit was at the Taco Bell. I did not like that shit at all, but it taught me discipline, bro, you feel me? Get up on time. Be there on time, be, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, and earn, earning a living. My first paycheck, it felt kind of good, cause I was like, damn, I ain't gotta be um, worrying about if they, if I, if I was seen on camera doing something, or my life not in danger, you feel me? So I started, you know what I'm saying? Get, get addicted to doing the right thing when I had my first job, you feel me? It did. You still had the old way, the old habits, you know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> you be around a lot of people that's into what you was into too, like your old life. So it, it, it's like a hard process to move into your 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 path and, and, and your purpose, you know what I'm saying? Everybody don't find their purpose, but it's you still do the right thing and be on a mission to find your purpose. I ain't just got it all and know it all, but I know for damn sure I'm, I'm on a mission to finding my purpose and on the goal to, to to success. It's not gonna always be good and I'll have to go lucky, you know. I'm I'm all for it, man. Putting in work and on um, the ups and downs, you know what I'm saying. But it like I want this. This is why I do this. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is why I do this so y'all can feel me on a deeper level and know get to know me. You feel me? Know where I come from. Been around a lot of shit, bro. Been around. Well, I ain't gonna speak on a lot of shit, but I've been around a lot of shit, man. Gun violence, whole the whole nine. You feel me? Just 
I didn't I taught a lot of people out of gun violence, bro. You feel me? Um that say a lot of niggas lie, they don't even know it. That's how real I am. I mean they fake, they don't even know. I just say they life. It's just because I wanna see people do the right thing, everybody eat. And I ain't that type of person be like, oh yeah, this nigga really could have got killed if he went for me. I would I'm not that type of person. I wanna see everybody eat and win. So I won't even mention it to nobody in the world, just between us, you feel me? That you know what I'm saying? That I just say the nigga life and getting killed. You know what I'm saying? He don't even fucking know what I'm gonna tell the world for. Now you finna start a war. Okay, now he gonna feel like I went out bad, you feel me? Like, no. You know what I'm saying? So it like that happened plenty of time when I was still in the street, but it like no. I've been doing the square thing for so long, man, you know, staying out of the way and not in, out of trouble. I don't know who's doing what, so I don't really hang around too many. I don't know who somebody slamming somebody out or what. So I don't know what's going on. I mind my Benny, you feel me? I know about my Benny and don't nobody know about my shell. The certain people that, that I want to know about my Benny. And not you don't tell everybody everything about you, you know what I'm saying? That's how a motherfucker can defeat you right there. You feel me? I'm a blunt or not. But yo, man, like I said, I ain't got it all out door, dog, man. But you know, you know how we rock over here, the realest podcast, man. We get it in, man. Y'all see on Anchor FM, I was going in for like a whole year and some months. Um, y'all make sure y'all get it. T H A R E A L E S T P O D C A S T, the realest podcast on all streaming podcast platforms from iTunes, on Amazon, all that, everywhere. And tap in, man. When I first <clears throat> on start doing the podcast, I was speaking about my new life, um, my my spiritual path and stuff like that, and different things that can help people um, culturally. I like I want I want like like one one time I heard thought say you must teach what what was taught. I believe in it, and I don't speak on a lot of stuff because I believe people some people can abuse certain things, certain power, so that's why I share certain things so they can be on a positive note. And on the light side, and when I mean light, I mean like this white shirt, <laughs> you feel me? So it like, you know, man, I just want to put out that message, man. And, um, I always, you know, I always show my true self all the time, man, you feel me? I always speak my my heart. If y'all know me, y'all be on my Instagram. I speak what I feel, what I feel, and um, at all times, man, don't cut no corners. I unfollow motherfuckers. I let, you know what I'm saying? You know, it, it just like, I got my own following, man, and people really respect that, bro. You know, like I say, I got the update coming up next, man, and y'all tap in the net, um, and they're gonna be the end of it. peace, love, and soul. Y'all enjoy the next clip. Make sure y'all tap in too, now. You feel me? Tap in to the old episode, everything. A whole lot of live episodes coming to YouTube too. Everything that y'all miss from the live, or all my live um, videos from um, all, all every rapper that I had um, interviewed. It's gonna be on YouTube, so um, y'all be on the lookout for that. Yeah. What's going on, YouTube, man? You know, you got your boy Quest Realist and the host of the Realist Podcast, man. You know, man, we're doing a little update um, on the Britney Grinder situation, man. You know, she just, she got, she, she got something in play for her, man. You know, they trying to trade. It, it's crazy, like, it's like they, it's crazy, bro. Like, to me and my mindset, look like they trading slaves, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, how the hell could you trade people for a person for their freedom? But, like, it's crazy. I guess it's some crime syndicates over here, you know what I'm saying, that Russia want. And they were asking, basically, like, trade them in for her. So, basically, want us to do their dirty work to capture their criminals and shit like that. So, yeah, it's crazy, man. Um, Hope I'm not offending nobody. All this stuff is allegedly, you know what I'm saying. I wish I had disclaimer, stuff like that. But, you know, I'm just putting out the daily news um with that being said you know oh i just had to give y'all a little update on that man but you know got the album on the way off the wall of course y'all seen it that drops on um, september 13 y'all make sure y'all be on the lookout for that you know what i'm saying um i'm be doing the podcast on youtube now y'all so make sure y'all tap in man y'all follow me on tiktok at quiz the realest 98 um, Q U E Z T H A R E A L E S T ninety eight at TikTok. 
You know what I'm saying? Fuck y'all already know where I'm at on Instagram. Quest the real one, man. Q U E Z T H A R E A L O N E. Get get at me, man. You know. And we're gonna do it that way. You feel me? But you know, they are just a little update. Gonna be back next week with a whole lot of other stuff, man. Might tap in with some folks. Um and if you haven't catched the video on live on my Instagram, they will be posted on YouTube as well. So y'all make sure y'all tap in that, man, you know. Get it, everybody home if you later with, you know, get it up. We going up, we all going up, we sticking together. Be on the lookout for the after while next month, though. It's coming too soon, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm 13 when it drop, man, you know, we got to do it all the way right, you feel me? Want to go number one with it, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Hope all the uh, labels come knocking at my door, like, we can do real good, Benny. And really go up for the future, man, you feel me? Because I, I still want to be a long future within um, hip-hop, of course, but with music in general. But especially hip-hop, we can't let hip-hop die, you feel me? Shout out to all the people that are doing what I'm doing, man. We all gonna go far and, um, you know, certain, certain um, things don't last forever. Um, so that's how I know it got to be our time, our time and our turn, you feel me? Um, to to spread our message and um, our lightness and our vi our vibration to the world, man, so they can feel us on our frequency, man. We're going to go up from now, man. So with that being said, peace, love, so y'all be on the lookout. Going to have a lot of episodes coming on my YouTube now. Still working on the documentary. There's so many um, episodes that's on, I mean, so many clips that's on the documentary, so I'm going to be dropping them by clips, you know what I'm saying? So that being said, y'all stay tuned, man, with the Realist Podcast. Out of sight, out of mind, out of time.